Welcome back fellow Blues and all football fans kindly subscribe if you're new here. Chelsea reportedly look the favourites for the potential transfer of Crystal Palace winger Michael Olize this summer with the club giving permission for other teams to speak to the player. The Blues have prepared contracts and are now pushing to meet the asking price and announce him as their second signing. The French winger shown for Palace last season and looks like he could be a super B addition to this Chelsea side, giving the Blues a much needed upgrade on inconsistent attacking players like Raheem Sterling, Mikhail Modric and Noni Madueke. Olize has perhaps understandably also been linked with other top clubs in recent months and Law admits that there also seems to be some interest from Bayern Munich and Newcastle United, though Chelsea seem to be confident they're in the pole position. Law has explained that Chelsea and Palace sources are saying slightly different things about Olize's release clause, with mixed messages out there about if it applies only to Champions League clubs. Chelsea seem to think it doesn't apply to Champions League clubs, so they will no doubt hope they can see off big name suitors like buying for this exciting young talent. Olize could do well to wait for other teams to make him an offer as he's surely good enough to be playing in the Champions League and competing for the biggest trophies which isn't guaranteed anytime soon at Stamford Bridge. Fabrizio Romano made it clear that Olize was a priority for Chelsea even if they are also working on strikers. Romano said that Chelsea's top target remains Crystal Palace swinger Michael Olize as they tried to agree personal terms with the player before then finding a solution with the club on his clause. The priority for now is the player side, so they are working to make it happen but another top target for the club this summer is a central striker. Chelsea have two options after missing out on Benjamin Sesko, who was a top target for them but also for Arsenal and Manchester United before deciding to stay at RB Leipzig. Let's see if other names come into the equation for Chelsea but for now, the two targets are John Duran and Aston Villa and Samo Omoro Dion from Atletico Madrid. The report claims Elise has a release clause worth in the region of £60 million and any deal will be complex with percentage due to his former club reading, Palace and Elise himself. This certainly makes it a lot less straightforward and would explain why this one might take some time to get over the line. Elise would be worth it, though I'm sure that Chelsea will do all they can to get this done. He's such a high caliber player and would make an instant impact at Chelsea. Fellow Blues, a quick one reaching us from the camp. Subscribe, like, share and be here for more updates.